like, like, obviously Max's character, you need to, like, get get yourself away from quite a lot. With these, if you're, doing, if you're facing backwards, you just get caught by the dash attacks. Just, um, I guess, yeah, I guess Annie true. dies so early to hit Max stuff as well. I can see it being pushed really hard. This, I mean, it, I imagine is pretty good for Pyro, considering that this is Pyro and Metal Yeah, like, I can easily see it being annoying though, so it just, like, gets it off stage. The fact that you also kind of have to land on that as well. You have to commit. Woo! Never mind! We got, we got, we got the classics. We got the classics from Toby right now. He's got those, he's got those jab locks on the platforms on deck. He's by, by far the most technical man. He's a mutually... Oh my goodness. That, that was just like a bit of a sort of blow, but it, his neutral usage is so good. He's a good thing about Toby. Uh, using it to recover, kind of like Snake Sight, so getting the armor. Um, using it in neutral as well. He does it in neutral a lot against me. Oh my god. Cover. This is not close. <laughs> yeah, I think that is another stock on. I think this is the thing with like picking a secondary, is that like that situational awareness that you get from like years and all the hours putting into a main. You don't get that with a character, and oh yes, on paper, Pithra is the better yeah. choice. But in the same vein, like Loaf's not gonna have that sort of split second reaction yeah. to know in those like weird situations. Oh, as good as your secondary is, you just feel like you know what to do. Like, the it's also a, bit, a lot of it is comfort. It's like what we've seen here is Toby take two very quick stops because of how good his advantage state is. And maybe if uh, Lopez on YouTube, he should be able to get away from it. He doesn't have that comfort, so he doesn't really know where to go. Yeah, and I mean the beauty of it in this format is that like, you know, you've got three games at least to figure it out. Yeah. And you know, we're already seeing that compared to this first half of the game, Lopez is doing a lot better in the second half. Seems like he's gotten a bit more of like, what's, how to be playing it. Right? Like, I mean, Mac is just such a jarring character, you need to play very specifically. Yeah, and it's such a jarring thing, because particularly with a character like Mithra specifically, who can just kind of throw out these quick hitboxes to get any kind of combos going. The super armor on the smash attacks is just so jarring to deal with, because yeah, you might have the right read and the right spacing, but if you mistimed it, you are just eating a bigger punish for it. And it's not just like, um, backpacks. Mac also is very quick uh, on attacks. Yes. He's probably one of like the best characters out with punishing with his landing Yeah, and that's the thing, it's like that up smash, you know, the run in it would have caught it. If you tried to go for an aerial, it would have caught it. And it's so probably been out of shield as well against like the my arm Yeah, exactly that. Mithraism moves on time. Well I mean they're, they're swords, so like they're pretty safe. They aren't amazing frame wise on shield. So I um the up is often that it's a very fast often that wouldn't be surprised if we see that a lot. I mean, yeah, we, we sort of there. Yeah, and it has got that invincibility. has got the invincibility as well. I believe for like the first three frames, which is just ridiculous. We were playing earlier on, just armor through a yeah. hit move, like in between yeah. the second and third hit, and I was like, oh, okay, that's mad. I wasn't aware of that. Okay, here we go. So the Mewtwo coming out. I do think this is the correct pick, especially on a, on a bigger stage now. As yes, well. he, has, he has space to do. This yeah, because also it's like you mentioned the dash back, which is obviously unfortunate for Mewtwo's big old tail, but also Mewtwo's ground speed is one of the fastest in the game. So yeah, it is. I was forget about that. Yeah, so it's not as if like like Mewtwo's gonna be able to keep up and maybe get away. However, it will depend on obviously if that horrible, horrible tail ruins his life. That's a good grab to come like, I think I hadn't realized really, but um, Max uh, tackle was not really. <laughs> and I feel like that's something we might uh, take advantage of. Yeah, real nice call out there with the disabled, but another down beat just calling out. Good confusion. Though. I was I was gonna say I feel like um the main difference maker here. Just having the just having the average bracket being called out there. The wonderful, the beauty of Smash Adventure here at the University of Southampton is that you go at le you can go at least 0 and 4. Oh, that's four sets. That's like that's around four ball. sets. Um, as we've spoken, he's taken the lead and he's lost the lead. But um, <laughs> you know, it was a nice moment while it lasted. He had it for a bit, and I think what I was thinking before is like the key in this matchup is going to be how um, no plays disadvantage on that. Yes, he can get blown up so quickly. And I feel like the mix up of like the confusions when I'm covering is like it seems to be a key thing. And this, that's a dead match. Yeah, yeah, that was a thing. It's one of those. And, you know, equally, Toby also has to play that very small because he's is a great edge guy, and Mac, you know, as well. He has one pretty big weakness. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but that even game though. Yeah, the trample on that fourth are going to go through any kind of aggressive option. I know. You can see all just just eating away that shield. Really excellent air dodge away. If he had just landed, it would have got hit. If he landed and shielded, that would have been a dead. They both kind of just gone to the combos. That was a good. Yeah, that's been a couple of times. Oh, that's not safe on shield. 
So that's just a bit unfortunate. I think he was trying to catch the new ship, he had the right fallout as well. He's very yeah. And that and that's the thing with Tobs in particular, like he's so so good. We were playing friendlies a little bit earlier on, and he's one of those people where in terms of how long he holds defensive like tools, like in terms of like shield and when he spot dodges and things, he's so good at he doesn't just like hold shield and wait, he holds shield that perfect moment and then has that aggressive option just unleashed at the right yeah. moment. Which is what you need to do with it. You need to find your ability. Well. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly so that. Like if you didn't have Tail Punch, you probably would have had to do the smash and you have to a similar result. Yeah, exactly yeah. that. But we are going to see... I like the fact we're sticking with the Mewtwo. I like no, that. No, that game went very well. It was just a bit unfortunate at the end. Oh. Really we're going, we're going, he's going. The Mewtwo did well. The Mewtwo did do well. Mewtwo did do well. <laughs> yeah, again, like, you know, Loaf has got a thousand and one characters under their belt up to a certain level, but I think when you're getting to these kind of opponents, and particularly this kind of jarring matchup where there's like really specific counterplay. You need to bring it exactly. Exactly. Now I'm enjoying what do you think of this Hollow Bastion pick? I'm not so sure. Yeah, I don't know about it. I think I don't think it's a stage match that particularly enjoys. Because always having always having that platform to like, obviously very good again. But I feel like PSU kind of accomplished that as well, just giving you space. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm just the up. <laughs> Shit, Mewtwo's yeah. dead at 94. I think, I don't know what the top last is, honestly, it is like. I don't think it's as good as it is. Yeah, I think it is that little bit lower. I could be wrong on that, though. I could be wrong. Well. I, I mean, <laughs> given how early he died. <laughs> yeah. He's playing a bit patient, as he should. And that's the thing. The thing is with Tobbs in particular is that like, he's so good, at, and you have to be with a character like Maka, picking up on habits. Yeah. And he can be so good. Yeah, exactly that. And Tobbs probably smelling a little bit of frustration in Loaf's gameplay and just really trying to call it out, but Loaf knowing a little better. Yeah, I mean, you can tell from Blake Amber, he's not happy with his game Yeah, really good teleport on Sega. He was a little bit poor, but another call out on just the run in. Very convincing the moment. Ooh, good call out on the roll in. Tried try to go for something sneaky with a jab one, not quite dead. That was 65% of two reads. I think go for go it for all. At this point, he knows he's going to get away with this stuff. Yeah. He's not ready yet. He's going to pull out Yeah, and that's the thing, you know, when you've got this much of a percent lead, although immediately. I know you want, but if it's Mac as well, you can throw it away in a second. That's how it's like. If, if Liam gets one good edge guard, yeah. Oh. Um, light makes Toby repeat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we can see just his patience coming out from the tops here. And again, another call out on these aggressive approaches, but Loki's doing a good job of parry into up smash. A clean, clean 3 0 for tops there. Yeah.